so we're here with the Mafia Definitive Edition. We're going right into it. It's the remaster of the 2002 game. Let's go. 2K presents. A Hangar 13 game. Based on an original game by Illusion Softworks. Last Heaven. Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respect in bad just coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. That on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have something. 
And what's my end of the deal? I uh, want money, some sort of immunity. None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. But, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. Okay, it's a bit glitchy already. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Okay, the camera is inverted. You. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell did they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try Ooh. some. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg will pay up there. It hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. <laughs> They're already fucking pissing him off. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. <laughs> that was your shortcut? I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them! These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. 
more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. For a taxi driver, he's doing good. One hell of a wheel, man, I'll give you that. They must have sent word out. There's more. I need to get out of the red circle. More and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Ah, the bridge is up, ain't it? Ah. Yeah. We can make it. I have to turn V-Sync on as well. Because otherwise the turn would be too much. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. Oh, that's cool. The, the road is giving you directions by using fake signs that fade away. Okay, we're close. Pull over in front of that bar. Celieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car. You swerve. There are bullet holes in the Keep fucking car. The old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. Envelope. I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. An offer you can't refuse. Running Man, 1930. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. 
driving, ma'am. Always driving. Enter the vehicles with X, okay. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. That's pretty cool, the speed limiter. <laughs> because the police can have actually come after you in this game in more Turn ways than GTA could. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. It looks pretty good though. This is on the engine for Mafia 3, so not surprised by that. So That's a win, by the way. But not for the devs though, there are a lot of bugs in Mafia 3 and this one as well. Stop there, by the park. There you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Huh. Find another fare. Better find a new fare. A lot of ghosting elements, oh, that's weird. That's not the PC, that's really the game. I saw it on a couple reviews already. Oh shit! Time! Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. The driving you feels good. Job, but maybe you'll understand. This is pretty good. Until then, driving quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get it you. It feels like an old timer is driving the road. On the gallery. Thanks, pal. There's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. <laughs> On to the next. The police didn't see it. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good <laughs> fares today? Yeah, some. Some. But never enough of them. Never enough of them. 
who's got the money for cab rides since the market, market tanked and all went to shit, shit, I guess. <laughs> Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yes, huh. all. True. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Up here on, on the corner, please. Is that the restaurant that hey, gets shot at? My cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. He did free drive since we got here. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help him sell Yari's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Oh shit, now we're gonna learn how to run. This is even more shit than driving the car. This feels like a way out though. <laughs> but it's funny though. <laughs> it's so weird. Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. What about his cab? Silieri's restaurant. The back streets of Little Italy. Molotov party. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. 
So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. It looks good, though. Weird artifacts in the cutscene, but looks no one good. No else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Okay, this is about the alcohol and sale and production and that it's going to be taken down by police. Pauli Lombardo. See. See. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Come back later. With Paul or Sam. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. But we gotta go. There are weird, weird artifacts. Just weird. What the hell's happening with the plants? I'm going to Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Aye, aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short hairs. <laughs> Oh wow. Good to me at top. Let me know if Oh, he got something. Hard time. I'll straighten them out. 15 cents dime detective. I'll fix you with a gat. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to purr. I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> the fuck, dear Papali? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. 
have at this one, Papa Polly. It, it, it ain't a ha ha ha, Brad, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, this funny. thing is not even gonna it's break the speed limit, the by the way. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, as long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food. <laughs> the best horns. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> yeah, he's I got, got balls, you to though. Protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. So it's breaking the speed limit. We're going 48, I think. Again on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Come on, you can make it. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. There's some lazy bastards. They put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, my over phone. here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sneak in. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. I don't think that's the guard, but... Okay, you go quiet. You know how to go quiet, out right? job, Yeah, so. like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Over this gate, <gasps> up onto their roof. Keep oh, he uses his hands. Leap up and jump from behind. We're good at distracting. Ah. Look at the ghosting on him. What am I doing? I mean, what I and him. Say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And Dino makes you cart the cars? Listen, 
fella. Who are you? You know Dino? Yeah, I know Dino. You know, there's one time when I had the chance to get him from behind and choke him out. And for some reason, I went back. Missed my chance. What are you talking about? I should have done it. I should have stopped it. Oh, yeah. Pick up the body. Can I dispense it now here? Let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Oh, I I can drop the body. Come on, Tom. We're up against it here. Oh crap. Hey, get away from the car. <laughs> Got some kind of death wish. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Just like that. Got it. Come on. Go. Oh, wow. There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Yeah. He got that nice and good. <laughs> Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep it. There's reports of burning vehicles and ghost fire in North Park. Take it. Oh, yeah. Those ways are the best ways. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the... Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. There don't let him get away. Drive. Come back, Drive. you bastards. Oh, oh, shit. Ah, oh, the police. We got cops. So, uh... What do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Okay, we can escape them. What part of stay out of sight wasn't clear? That police car was really fast behind me. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. Okay, we did it. Boss. I thought Cilieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Morello, is that the guy with the white sort of feel? Uh, outfit? Feel good? Of what feel? I think it is. Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah, I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a broken window? Fresh air why is he coming with us? Oh. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey boss, it's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good, sit down. You see Morello? Nah, 
but he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella, he's a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high lifetime. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. The acting is fucking amazing. <laughs> Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Damn, I'm surprised by the acting though. That's pretty good. Ordinary routine, 1930. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? We can take a final look at the map though. We got a racetrack here. There's a, a mission for that as well. Uh, it's mostly just water. You have like a, a little bit of city because of course the old uh, hardware that it was running on the Xbox and the PS2 I believe it couldn't run a whole lot so yeah that's why you ha don't have a big map an airfield some farmland I think with some farms a dam another fishing lake yeah just overall pretty nice map for a game like this here we can see the collections. Postcards. I think I have one of these. Yes, cigarette cards. 